Hello ladies and gentlemen, hi guys and girls. Today I will be showing you how to turn a Megaminx into a rhombic triacontahedron Megaminx. As you know, a Megaminx has 12 sides and the rhombic triacontahedron version is going to have 30 sides. And for that we will have to extend all of the center pieces and sand down the corner and edge pieces. So all the visible pieces of the puzzle will be modified. A, a while ago I already made some of these puzzles and for that I, I basically took some center pieces and extended them, then made a silicone mold and poured liquid plastic in it that hardens after a couple of minutes. So I already have these center pieces here, so we just have to modify the edge and corner pieces. To better explain how I will be modifying the puzzle, I made a small, like a small ridge with my sander here on the corner piece, so that you can see we have to sand everything down like this basically. So we will cut off all of this part here on all of the 30 edges. In order to be able to build this puzzle, we will need one Megaminx. I already de-stickered this, so I'm not going to use the stickered version here. Then we need the 12 center extension pieces, but we could just also make them by hand. Maybe I will make one by hand to see how I did the first one. Then some super glue, some milliput as our filling material for the hollow pieces, 60 grit sandpaper for, the, for removing the bulk, and 240 grit sandpaper for finishing touches. And I also have um, stickers pre-cut here for all the 30 sides of the puzzle. So first of all, I will disassemble the puzzle. A Megaminx consists of 30 edge pieces 20 corner pieces and 12 center pieces. And because the center pieces have big center caps with the extensions that I showed you before already, like this, we don't have to modify these 12 parts right now, so we have 50 parts right here. And as you can see on one of the edge pieces, there is the edge cap on it, and for the corner pieces, we have a small little corner cap up there. I will be using my X-Acto knife or scalpel to remove these, um, these corner and edge caps. So basically, I will just try to grab onto a side of them and just pop them out. They should remove pretty easily, maybe for one of the edge pieces. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with all the pieces now. Here we have all of the pieces with the corner and, sand, corner and edge caps removed now. I made a small test and sanded down one corner and one edge piece. Maybe you can see how the puzzle will look like later, or one side at least. And I now have decided that I will fill up all of the pieces here first, put in the corner and edge caps, and then take it to my disc sander over here. We already learned that if I was to fill up the pieces right now as they are, the milliput inside would probably not stick to the plastic as well. So I will go in there with my multi-tool sander and roughen up the surfaces just a little bit. Maybe you can see it for this edge piece here. So I roughened up the inside here and that's basically all I need for the for the milliput to stick properly. That's 14 grams for the white part. In total it's 30 grams now, so I'll add a little bit of the white material.
Right, <clears throat> so I think the milliput is mixed up well enough now. So I will start filling the corner pieces first because these are the more complex pieces. And then I will move on to the edge pieces. It's always difficult to get the correct amount to fill the piece with. So try to use smaller parts, but more of them. So I take the small piece, push it in there as far as I can. And now I see I can put in more material. Take another small chunk and push it in there again. And once I think that the piece is full enough and I can push the corner cap in, I just take one of the corner caps obviously and then put it in place here. Maybe we will have some holes later, but these holes would be so small that we can fill them up pretty easily. All of the 20 corner pieces here are filled now, so I'll continue with the edge pieces. It's about two and a half hours later now, and I will try to start sanding down some of the pieces. Alright, so I finished about half of the pieces. I did 20 edge pieces and 5 corner pieces. This is how the puzzle looks like now. I put in one extension, so you can get a look at how the, the surfaces are going to look like. But I sadly have to stop working now, because I can't work on Saturdays after a specific time or on Sundays. So yeah. I'm very sorry I wanted to make this video in one part, but it will have to be two smaller parts now. So this is where we will start off next week. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed.